It took weeks of negotiations, but the state house and Senate have finally reached a two-year state budget agreement covering the next two fiscal years. Now lawmakers are sorting out the details of the agreement that came in the wee hours of this morning. It has to be voted on and passed before tomorrow, the very last day of the legislative session. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is at our live desk to break down this budget deal. Caitlin? Good afternoon, Bill. It's been a long time coming, but while many of us were sleeping last night, lawmakers found some common ground and avoided a government shutdown. We actually were able to accomplish this budget without any uh, nasty words being hurled across the table. It may have taken long days and nights, but lawmakers are ready to finalize the budget deal. Just shy of 3 o'clock Wednesday morning, Senate President Robert Stivers and House Speaker Greg Stumbo, among others, announced they struck a deal. It is an adequate and effective blend, I believe, of the priorities contained in both the governor's recommendation, the House budget, and the Senate budget. Stivers agreed the parties had struggled to agree on how to spend coal severance funds and how much money to put in the state pension fund. But higher education remained a hot topic throughout discussions. Colleges and universities will see a 4.5 percent decrease in funding. That's half what Governor Bevin had proposed. Kentucky State University is exempt. There was strong consensus that President Burse has done a wonderful job being put into a very tough position. And we want to give him the opportunity to move the institution forward. Governor Bevin still has power to veto some parts of the bill. I think I agree it's the governor's uh, prerogative, but these were pretty uh, widely separated uh, documents, pretty widely separated uh, views philosophically. Governor Bevin released a statement thanking lawmakers, saying Kentucky is investing in its pension system in a meaningful way. At the live desk, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Caitlin, thank you. It is important to note now that because this budget was passed so late and is only right now being printed, that the legislature will not be able to override any potential vetoes, and he has line-item authority to do that within a budget that Governor Bevin could make to that budget.